I like apple teenies. I know they aren't sophisticated and they don't have any complexity to them, but I have a soft spot for them, probably from my early bartending days. Could they be better? Yes, 100%. And I intend to do just that in this video. The traditional primary ingredients in the apple teeny are sour apple liqueur and vodka. But for mine, I'm going to be creating my own sour apple liqueur and pairing it with my homemade aquavit. This will elevate the cocktail into a crisper, slightly sour, and spiced territory. It's very easy to drink a few of these. I think apple and aquavit are a natural fit. The aquavit will be adding some much needed complexity to this apple teeny. I recently made a bottle of aquavit to usher in the holiday season. I kept it pretty light and fresh this time around, only using caraway, fennel, coriander, dill, and lemon. It turned out as light as I had hoped, but still with that traditional caraway forward flavor that I'm really excited to try out in this cocktail. You can check out the link below for the recipe. Now I'll make my sour apple liqueur. And unlike the mass produced sour apple liqueur, I will be using all natural ingredients, starting with Granny Smith apples. For the apples, I'm just slicing them into chunks using my brand new knife that was sent over to me by the folks at Nakano. I'm really enjoying it so far. If you're looking for a new chef's knife, check them out with the link in my description. I'm not removing the skin or seeds from these apples, just throwing them into the blender with a third cup of water and a quarter teaspoon of ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid keeps the apples from oxidizing, so our juice won't turn brown. I'll blend this for a minute or so until everything is pureed. I'm pouring the puree into a nut milk bag to strain out the solids. This is a very fine filter bag, so I can squeeze it a bit to get all the liquid out. I'm going to transfer the liquid from my bowl into this pitcher. The yield is about 300 milliliters. As you can see, the juice is still quite cloudy, so I'll be clarifying it using Pectinex. I'm adding five drops of Pectinex to the apple juice and giving it a quick stir. This will take a while to clear. So I'll put it in the fridge for a couple of hours and let the pectinex do its thing. As you can see, all of the pectin has been broken down and has given way to a beautiful clear apple juice, the perfect base for my sour apple liqueur. To strain out the solids, I'm using two rinsed coffee filters. The first pass will still be a little bit cloudy, so I recommend running it through twice. It filters incredibly slowly, but you will be left with the most crisp, clean apple juice. It's fantastic on its own, but for my purposes, I will need to sweeten it up a bit. I'm using a third cup of sugar, but in hindsight, I wish that I used a half a cup instead to make it a bit sweeter. I'm also going to increase the acidity to achieve that melted green Jolly Rancher taste of apple liqueur. I'm using an eighth teaspoon of citric acid and an eighth teaspoon of malic acid, the acid that's found in green apples. You can go ahead and use an immersion blender to speed up this process if you like. Just know that this juice will foam up a bit. To make this sour apple liqueur a bit more interesting, I'm going to fortify it with pisco. I really like the way the pisco intensifies fruity flavors, and I think it's going to be really special. I'm measuring out 200 milliliters of pisco. Before adding the pisco to my apple juice, I'm going to add two drops of chlorophyll to get that iconic green color for my perfect apple teeny. Give that a little stir to combine, and then pour it into the apple juice. I'm giving this a little shake to combine. I still have a bit of room in the bottle, so I ended up adding 50 milliliters more of pisco and a drop more of chlorophyll to intensify the color. And it's all done! It's really tasty. It actually tastes like sour apple candy. So good. Definitely a bit more sour than sweet. Now I'm ready to make the apple teeny. To my shaker tin, I'm adding a half an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of aquavit, and one and a half ounces of my sour apple liqueur. Give it a good 10 second shake and then double strain it into a Nicanor glass. You can garnish it with a cherry as is the tradition, but I think the color is just so pretty. I'm going to keep it as is. I love how this turned out. It's still sweet and tart, but the caraway and dill make it taste so much more interesting and vibrant. I love that I can still get that beautiful green color without adding any chemicals to my liqueur. If you're a fan of apple teenies, you will love this version. I really hope you give it a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments. And also let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a non-alcoholic version of this. I have some different ideas and techniques that I've been looking forward to trying 
and I think they might work well for this. Thank you all for watching and see you soon with another cocktail video.